if someone in a couple is having some difficulties with sexual functioning, oftentimes there is anxiety that builds up within the couple, there's mis miscommunication that, that starts to occur. And so, so couples coming to see a psychologist to talk about these issues, you know, help the couples kind of talk through their communication difficulties. The benefits of having a couple coming to a visit together is that sexuality is very often something you have with another person. So if you really want to do something about a problem, it's often a very good idea to involve the partner. Well, most sexual problems occur during sex with a partner. Both partners are disaffected by the sexual problem. They might cause the problem, they, they witness the problem, and also their own sexual responding is influenced by the problem. And we see that sexual problems in one partner often go along with sexual problems in the other partner. Sexual medicine is really fun, because not only do I get one patient, but oftentimes I have two patients, especially if they come in a couple. So I have to understand, if you have a sexual health concern, I have to understand it, ask about it, and also understand how it may be affecting their partner and sometimes the concern may be one thing but it may actually be something else uh, that really isn't being brought up so when you understand the problem and then you can translate it to the couple and each person in the couple and they can understand it better and then work as a team to maximize their sexual health together when you're describing something as personal as sexual dysfunction or in this case erectile dysfunction it's good to have your partner with you the physician needs the perception of the witness or your partner as well as your own complaints to better understand not only what the problem is but what your goals are for therapy. It often occurs, for example, that, that men develop an erectile dysfunction eh, when their partner has genital pain, which makes sense because the sexual situation is so stressful, it's, it's not really arousing anymore and, and the partner may start to doubt himself. Another example, for example, when, when there's a loss of an er erection, this, this might raise doubts in the partner, like, oh, maybe I'm not attractive anymore. And so it's, it's very clear that sexual problems are relational problems. Both partners are involved, so we need both partners to solve the problem. And that's why it's so important to counsel both partners, to inform them both, to listen to the distress of both partners. You have to realize that sexual medicine is a couple's disease. What is the point of giving this man these great erections, great libido, if he has no one to have sex with? I think it's very important to focus on both the male and the female partner. So in our practice, not only do we focus on the male, but we also focus on the female partner. Again, by optimizing both, you're making the experience better for the couple. So I think uh, three uh, main uh, issues in this connection, first of all, uh, you have to uh, educate patients, you have to educate a uh, couple, and uh, most of the patients um, have sometimes unrealistic expectations, and if you have a male or male patients, they are not so, they, they have less criticism, so, and it is al always better to have a partner, sexual partner with him, because the, uh, the wife or partner can put him down to the realistic ground. So this is, this is the main um, issue. The second one, um, there is the issue, for example, if you're talking about penile prosthesis or penile reconstructive surgery, uh, the concerns about the length of the penis and girth of the penis. And sometimes male are, uh, they are willing to have a longer, wider penis. Uh, and uh, sometimes it is also not realistic and, and that is why it is important to have a couple. It is so important to have your partner come with you if you're going to a sexual medicine provider. Um, whether your, your partner is there to help you remember what you've heard in the office, because it can be very stressful and it's hard to remember everything. Uh, as simple as helping remember what medications you use when. Or on the flip side, maybe your partner doesn't really understand what's going on. Uh, you're a woman, you're in pain when you have sex and your partner doesn't really believe you and now the, your partner, whether it's a man or a woman, is in the exam room, you're being examined, and you see those red raw areas, and you can understand now, oh my gosh, I've been forcing you to have intercourse. Or maybe you're a, a, a man who has erectile dysfunction, and your partner thinks, oh, he doesn't love me anymore, and that's why he has erectile dysfunction. And then you see the tests that the doctor does, and you see, oh my gosh, there's a, there's a biologic problem going on here. Yes, 
any biologic problem can cause psychologic issues and relationship issues, um, but they are often based on biologic. And if you have somebody else in your life, it is extremely important, not only to you as the patient, but to the partner for him or for her to understand what's going as well. So together you can heal, so that together you can have a better sexual life, return your, return your life to what was your once normal. Thank you.